Hey y'all. Um Yeah, this this may not be as lighthearted as usual. Um today's been a day without <clears throat> really going into it. But it's yeah. Anyway, but you guys subscribe to videos and I need to keep up with that. So, despite all the the things that happened today that have just left me shook, Fab Fit Fun Summer Edition has arrived today. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there to cheer me up. We will find out Ooh, in a minute. Um, and there's not really room for me to put the box up on on the desk at the moment, but, um, yeah, just bear with me, guys. <laughs> so, all right, right off the bat, we got the magazine, and we will check that out in a bit. Um, looks like I got a coupon, um, for, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah. So if, if anyone is interested in getting a FabFitFun box, um, I have a coupon for 15% off. Or not 15%. I am, I apologize. $15 off your first box. Um, I can only really share it with one person. So if you want it, let me know, PM me or something and I'll, I'll give it to you. No problem. Uh, we also have some FabFitFun stickers. They're actually pretty cute. So that that kind of cheers me up a little. Um, oh, let's see. What else we got? We got a thing. I'm not quite sure what this is. If you're looking for a sign to drink wine, this is it. And it is a... Oh, it's from a Bright Cellars. It is a... Uh, decent sized discount for 45 bucks off an order. Sweetness. That may come in handy. Um, another discount for HelloFresh. I can't use it because I used to use HelloFresh, so I, I know I've looked at these. These are for uh, new customers. So it looks like 14 free meals, including shipping on your first box. So what they do, I'm going to give you a heads up, is it's not 14 free meals straight off the bat, but they, you know, if you're ordering three meals a week, they'll probably, can, you know, they'll give you one or two of them for free. And then, uh, you know, you just pay for the remainder. So it goes out over multiples. Um, so yeah. If you are somebody that wants to try that out and um, are interested in that, let me know and I will give you my discount code. <sighs> Sorry, I apologize. It's been a day. So, okay, what do we got here? We got pineapple shaped ice molds. I'm never one to turn, turn away from uh, a good cheesy ice mold. I mean, shoot, I've got one in my, in my freezer in the shape of a Death Star. And I love it. And I think I'm going to use it today. Today is a need. So, awesome. <clears throat> uh, and then we got this. High altitude hydration mask. Which that may come in handy. Because I do live uh, above 6,000 feet. So, and sometimes my skin just gets a little dry. So, well, we'll keep that around. Um, a traveling jewelry case. I mean, who doesn't need one of those on the regular? Um, especially me. And I tend to wear, wear jewelry on the regular. At least, you know, for office type stuff or if I'm going out. But if it's just me on a regular day, 
running errands. I, good luck even getting me to wear makeup. So, okay, so we got some ring holders, some eye and spots in there, and then we've got spot for necklaces. I actually like this. You know, and because I work in IT, I could throw a couple of hard drives in there too. <laughs> well, not hard drives, uh, thumb drives. Not a bad idea. Um, let's see, and then we got the Barefoot Scientist. Looks like a foot scrubber. Smooth things over. I might try that out tonight. Um, let's see, and then what we got? Lip butter or fruit butter lip mask. Um, does say it's cruelty free and vegan. Not quite sure. I mean, fruit butter, but what fruit is my question? Because, you know, sometimes people are allergic to food, so it gets to be kind of important. So it looks just like that. Um, let's see. And this says, uh, intensive overnight lip mask that envelops the lips with shea butter and apricot kernel oil. Okay, great. That's something I can use. Um, to deliver, help deliver intense hydration softness and elasticity while you sleep. Oh, okay. So this is a overnight sleep mask. Great. Put this back in the box for now. Um... We got this. What is what is this? Watermelon. Oh, it might help if I hold the box up right, huh? Watermelon burst setting spray by Siete. So, huh? Interesting. I mean, who doesn't need more setting spray? I personally really like Urban Decay because that I can spray that stuff on, and my makeup will go nowhere. Like for a 5K, if I'm doing a costume 5K, yeah. My makeup will go nowhere. I can sweat through it. It's great. So, I don't know. We may have to give this a shot. See how well it works. Um, there's a there's another setting spray I have here at the house. Uh, was it fresh or something like that? And it's for... They call it festivals because it does have like a little bit of a uh, iridescence to it. Not, not hugely, but I mean, enough. And uh, I do like that one too. But I, because it smells nice, and then, you know, I look all nice and dewy and whatnot. Um, but I do like, but the Urban Decay does perform better. I will admit. So, okay. So it looks like we got two more things left in here. So, ooh. Poolside. So a big waterproof baggie for all my poolside needs, which... Works out great because I'm I'm probably going to be sitting at the pool tomorrow while I work through things. Because, um, yeah. Um, you know what? Screw it. Reason I'm down today is because I lost my job today. So, I have, I have some job hunting and stuff to do. And while I do that, I may take an emotional break to go sit at the pool for a little bit. So there we go. So last thing in the box, at least you know, that I can find, is it looks like it's a, oh, it's a picnic blanket. And it looks really nice. I mean, it feels really nice. Like it'd be waterproof and all that good stuff. So I'm not mad at that. Um, so for now, I'm gonna put this stuff back in the box. We know the drill. Hello, computer. Turn back on. Um, I'll throw everything back in there and we'll look at some prices. Stay. Not you guys. The box. I needed the box to stay. So, see if we can't find, oh, did they cut out the, why I know fine prices. Usually they're at the beginning. Let's 
exclusive offers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're not going to put in prices anymore. All members get... Okay, so, I mean, there's the box stuff, you know, of what you could have gotten. Usually there's prices included, but no prices this time. Well, that's a bummer. Well, wait a minute. Hold up. We're going to... We're going to check a thing. Since I can't check it on the phone because I'm making the video. So, okay. So I can still see prices on the website. It's just not put into FabFitFun anymore. In the magazine. It's kind of a bummer. Um... So, let's see. Hold on. Get in the calculator. We're going to do it this way. So, we got the Society 6 Outdoor Blanket. That's marked at 60 bucks. The Poolside Water Resistant Pouch is marked at 35 The Flight Mode High Altitude Hydration Mask is marked at ooh, $39, not $3.99. It's not a bad price for a mask. I mean, I've paid more. I've paid less. Um, the Millie jewelry case is 60 bucks. Whoa, seriously? I mean, it's a nice case and all. I just never would have suspected 60 bucks. Um, the Seat, the Seat, hey, take, take your pick. Uh, London watermelon burst setting spray is 22, which I'm not mad at that price. And then, oh, they considered, um, the other three things is part of a bundle. So the ice cube tray, the foot scrubber, and the lip mask are came in as, as a set at 55 bucks. So 271, I paid uh 45, 50 bucks for it. Can't be mad at that. Um Yeah. So the next box won't be coming until like September-ish. Which is fine. As, uh, we'll decide how much longer I'm going to keep doing Fab Fit Fun. I do love this box. I genuinely do. I have I have nothing but great things to say about it. Uh, but, you know, things may change. And it may not be feasible for whatever the budget's going to be in the fall. I'm keeping my fingers, fingers crossed for things. Um, so we got that. So what, what else we got coming up? Well, it's June. Supposedly, I should be getting the Hello Kitty June Sweet Spa box. Um, in which case, I did finally hear back. I finally made some traction with Loot Crate. And I got in touch with somebody who said they were going to send out the February, the Happiness Formula one. You know, the scientist one. The one I originally bought back in December. Um... They were going to send out a replacement box for that, but it's going to take 8 to 12 weeks. So we'll see. I really hope they do send it. Otherwise, I'm just going to be furious. Um, let's see. There's no Funko box for, for June. No... Um... There's no Marvel Gear and Goods box for June. I am trying out. Um, now I bought this weeks ago before things went awry today. Um, there's another box, kind of like Loot Crate. It's called a BAM Geek Box. It's supposed to have like a celebrity autograph in there and some, some exclusive stuff. So we're giving it a shot. Um, I just want to try it once. And why did I decide to try once? Well, because one of the themes, the franchises in there for June is the Loki series, which if you haven't watched the first episode of that, you're missing out. It's fantastic. It's amazing. I love it. I'm jealous of all the critics that got to watch it. Um, watch the first two episodes while the rest of us peons only got to watch one. Um, so I am trying that out. And then... 
you know, maybe we'll make a video. I, I had gotten an ad on Facebook multiple, multiple times for this Marvel surprise gear book, gear thing. It's supposed to have like 10 different items in there. One of them being a hoodie and a couple of figures and whatnot. Um, I didn't know if it was actually going to come or not. Because sometimes, I mean, most of the time, um, I have good luck with things. But every now and then something skips past my purview and and whatnot. So when I tried to check the status and stuff on it, the email they had originally sent me, you know, the store wasn't showing up as available. The email wasn't showing up. I'm like, oh, God, I got conned. So I reported it to PayPal. But then today I got an email saying, hey, it shipped. But we'll see. We will see what happens. This might end up like the Sailor Moon box. Um, because that one shipped from China and so is this one. So I don't have the greatest hope for it. But we'll see what happens. Um, any other boxes? We're done with single swag. I do, I do like that one. But I've got like two boxes. Um, two shoe boxes worth of product that I'm just, I'm just never going to get, get to. So I'm probably going to. And it's all on open cosmetic type stuff too. So I'll probably just, you know, resell it on a Facebook marketplace or something since I haven't opened it. If I had opened it, I wouldn't do it, but I haven't opened it. So, um, yeah, no more Japan. I think that I really, it's just the two other boxes for July. Well, and the, and the, the geek box for June. We'll see if that one arrives on time or not. Um, and yeah, yeah, that'd be it. So hopefully next time I chat with y'all, I'll have better news. You know, maybe I found a new job or something. That would be amazing. Um, uh, but right now I'm, I'm still full of all sorts of, uh, emotional tornado type stuff. And, uh, I think I'm just going to let this go as it is today. So, I mean, if I wasn't as entertaining or, or happy-go-lucky, I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, I had no warning about my day and, and then the universe decided to try and make me feel better with Fat Fit Fun. And I wasn't going to just skip a video, um, for you guys because, because I was feeling bad. So, I mean, you guys are awesome. I, I now have like a hundred subscribers, which just kind of blows my mind. Um, especially cause I'm not doing this for the, you know, trying to be the next YouTuber or anything like that. But, um, yeah, it's a rather nice thing to know. So anyway, so I'm going to go for the night. I hope you guys have a good night. Go, go stay somewhere cool or, you know, go hop in the pool or something. I'm going to go do something similar and try to ignore the world for a little bit. And uh, I'll just see you guys in a few weeks when the next box comes. So, later.